This is me formally apologizing in front of the internet for not telling my own brother that I had started vlogging. Sorry. And if it makes you feel any better, Josh, Mom and Dad didn't find out from me either. I actually uploaded my first vlog without telling anyone because I wanted to give the internet a chance to tell me if I absolutely sucked so I could take it down quietly and try again with something hopefully better. And then I guess I continued not talking about it to anyone because I'm just that kind of person. The rest of you might have thought that I was going to apologize for not vlogging for two weeks, or however long it's been by the time I upload this, but I have good reasons for that as well. First of all, my pre-order of this book finally arrived and I've kind of been waiting for it forever and needed to read it immediately. I'm aware that I'm not a book vlogger, but to review it in two words, so good. I was also involved in planning a surprise party for my sister's birthday. So there was a lot of sneaking around in secret meetings and writing random scripts at 3am for an acting game I vaguely remembered her mentioning. And all of that came together beautifully. Our friends are basically the best and weirdest party planners in existence. I got to wear zombie makeup for the second time in my life and see my mom in zombie makeup and there were crazy improv games until after midnight and there was a face in the bowl of ice. So overall, I really have no regrets. There are other less pleasant things that have gotten in the way of vlogging. One of them being that I was kind of in that place where nothing you do is good enough and you just hate everything. And I know better than to film anything during that kind of week because everything has to be repeated millions of times. And then editing is just like, how many times are you going to mispronounce that word? Did my hair look like that in all of this footage? Can I even use any of this? I suck. So yeah waited that out. Although anytime someone subscribes or tells me that they like my videos, I am immediately terrified that the next one will utterly fail. But for a long time, whenever anyone subscribed, there was a large part of me that went, no, they might actually watch my videos. So believe it or not, my self-conscious perfectionist side has actually vastly improved. A little. I think it's also very clear that I'm blogging for fame. I originally planned on formatting these as like messages to my future self because I figured that would be my audience anyway, along with possibly eventually my sister. But the biggest reason I wanted to vlog in the first place was to meet new friends, and my future self is already kind of stuck with me, even if we aren't always on speaking terms. Random segue list tangent, but I remember that when I actually got my first subscriber, I was especially worried that while they were my only subscriber, that classic advice to vlog as if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with each of your viewers might suddenly feel very literal. Hi, Steven. Though admittedly I've kind of always wanted to try starting every vlog with a greeting addressed to a totally random name, with the hopes that eventually a stranger will be watching who actually has that name, and just hopefully be really disturbed. Okay, so I promised that I never meant the theme of this video to become Hannah's many insecurities. The reality is just that I never planned a theme. I've just really missed vlogging, and you, and I just wanted to show up on your porch and say hi. Metaphorically. Unfortunately. Because your literal porch is too far away. And some of you don't have porches. I know that a lot of you were recently informed of my existence by the Munchkin, so hi you, and welcome, and hopefully I won't scare you away too quickly if I haven't already. And to any of the rest of you who haven't seen the Munchkin's vlog, you have been gravely deprived and must go immediately to her channel, which I will link in the description because I lack the technological finesse to annotate it onto the screen, or to even know for sure if annotate is the word that I mean in that sentence. Her vlogs are made of win and awesome, and if I might creepily add, her voice also happens to be completely fantastic. All of you are just incredibly awesome people, and I'm glad to be weird internet friends with you. And that also very much applies to disturbed first-time viewers. I will see you eventually without technically seeing you, except in the comments, and hopefully sooner than another two weeks. For the record, I did make several other attempts to vlog this week, but thunderstorms happened, so instead I ended up spending a lot of time watching Marble Hornets while hiding under a blanket with my pillow pet. Speaking of which, Kim, I'm holding you partially responsible for my newly rediscovered fear of the dark. Thanks for that. Okay, bye!